And remember, if I can cook it, so can you. So go nowhere. Let's create. Pork shoulder with rice. Um, in essence, this is a arroz con pernil or um, el hombro del cerdo. And in the United States, you can find this already cut because this is small, you know, already cut. And they call it like country style ribs, although they are not ribs, they are pork shoulder. And what you do is you cut it even more, you know, cut it a little bit more, whatever size you want, doesn't have to be tiny. This one has a little bit of bone here. So let me cut around that. And I'll have here is about um, two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds. Come to put a few drops of oil. This is not going to the oven, so I'm prepping this baby. And all you need is salt. Generous amount. That's all you need, a generous amount of salt. Mix it up. This one even have a little bit of bone. I don't care. Mix it up. A cup of rice. I got long grain today. Long grain. And turn the heat high. And I'm going to add about a cup and one quarter of water. And here's the trick. What I did is add about when you top the touch of the rice, the top, when you touch the top of the rice, it's about half an inch, no more than an inch. How about a high? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple of drops of oil couple drops a little bit of smoked paprika pimenton ahumado you don't have to go crazy just a little bit this is about half a teaspoon if that and sprinkle some turmeric you're keeping this stuff natural, you're keeping it real. Just a little bit. And you want to let this boil a little bit, so let's wait. When it starts boiling, pour it, reduce the heat to medium, okay? As the rice cook, I have a cast on here, you can use any type of pan. I'm going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. You can go with whatever oil you want. It's about a tablespoon. Have this a medium high. Let it preheat for a few seconds before you go to the next step. You're going to cook it. This is pork, so it's not medium rare or anything like that, okay? Took about eight minutes. You're going to see these little holes, like craters. That means that the water evaporated. So you're going to lift it. Drop. Lift it. Drop. Drop. And what you're going to do now, you're going to lower the heat to medium low. I'm going to cover it and let it cook for about two or three minutes, okay? And then it's done. Take it out of here. About five or six minutes later, I'm going to turn them. Maybe cook the other side for about four or five minutes. Just want to make sure they are cooked, okay? Then you remove them. Put another container, see how beautiful. 
I scrape some of that delicious residual pork. So what I'm going to do now, I have some sofrito, link in the description. I'm going to add some onions. And because I have some green beans, I'm going to add them too. That's optional. I just want to add some color and some vitamins. Also, I have some peas. I'm going to add them. I'm going to mix things around. And I had to heat a couple of notches about low. See the darkness. And I'm going to flip this around for a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes later, I'm going to grab a, the tea for garlic. I'm going to mix it on top. So it doesn't burn too fast. I don't want the garlic to burn. Doesn't have to look pretty, but do it quickly. And if you cannot mince the whole thing, just put a little chunk to there, who cares, right? Everything go to the flavors, everything. Then you're going to mix it up. Ooh, smells delicious. And because I like garlic, because I like garlic, I'm going to add another teeth. Mix it up. Mix it up. Now that the garlic's added, let me put a little bit of cumin, ground cumin, just a tiny bit, I like that. Just a tiny, tiny sprinkle. Mix things up. And I'm going to re-add the pork. And I'm going to mix everything together. Everything. Now I have some time. I like the aromatic. This one is fresh. Just sprinkle a little bit of the fresh one if you want some aromatics. Just a little bit, you don't go crazy. And you're going to mix everything around. And you're going to let this cook maybe for a couple of minutes. So the flavors, the fat, Everything is mixed. This technique is because when you cook everything together with the rice at first and the rice is raw, the rice can get sticky. So by doing this, I am minimizing that thing without sacrificing the flavor. In fact, I'm adding flavor to it because of the way I prepare this pork. Look at this baby. Pernil, huh? Pernil. Look at this baby. Two, three minutes later. Trying to bring the rice, which is the rice. See how cooked it is? I'm sure. It's a nice color. Not that sazon without those. Fake coloring, this is the real thing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mix them together. Make sure you mix everything well. See how grainy this rice is? Mix everything well. So the flavor transfer to the rice, okay? Go from the bottom so you get some of that grease and that fat. Natural fat from the pork. I'm going to cover it with some aluminum foil. 
So this is a cast iron, I don't have a cover. And I want it closer to the right. Medium low. Come to get this baby go for two, maybe three minutes, okay? Two minutes might be sufficient. You don't want to stop burning at the bottom on this one. Let me remove this. See how nice? Very nice. Turn the heat off. See the rice? Moist and nice, very moist and grainy, see? 